ready. Come on, dude, we have to go. All right, I'm always ready. Think it's a privacy? I'm in the bathroom. So this is this is the sort of the beginning of our journey up to Petaluma here. Oh, okay. This is called the Sixth Street Corridor. This is this is one of the more, more Mark, colorful. I think the appropriate term is a Sixth Street Beautification Project. Yeah, it's uh, uh, also called a Skid Row, pretty much. These are all like the pay by the week hotels around here. Crack whores hanging out here. A lot of crack whores. A lot of. See, there they all are, right there. There's Everyone's one. Everyone wheeling and dealing. What's up, girl? What's up, baby? Yeah, all these people, they're all good people, proud Americans, but what they do is they dart out in front of the car. And Sarah's a very aggressive driver. It's the zombie walk. And they're not looking at anything. And let's go boom, right out in front of the car. They're like pigeons. Boom. Yeah, yeah, whack a zombie. And it's, it's amazing. Day. It's like you never hit a pigeon, you never hit a crackhead. Somehow they like, they don't get <laughs> caught in the wheel well. That's a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of times people are stopped in that lane. Shut yeah, up. they're stopped because they were going to turn right, which is what we have to do. When you drive, you can make your own rules. Until then, STFU. I have a rule, and it's drive properly. Petaluma is a proud little village. Lots of Victorians. It's nice. Stately old manses. It's the kind of place when you want to settle down with a couple of germ filled rugrats and uh, pretty much kiss your social life goodbye, you might want to move into a nice Victorian here. Have you seen District 9? They've got no, those I haven't seen it. Thanks. Oh, they've got all kinds of tech. Thank you. And... Um, <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's like... It's I like, think it might be our lightning. It's like this weird, like... Wow. Japanese swanny river. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is like... <laughs> North Korea. Oh, oh, oh. North it's Korea YouTube, national anthem. It's I think. that YouTube video. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a premature click. Check, check. Hey, here we are in the Twiff Studios. Well, I guess Leo would call it the Twit Studios up here in Petaluma, California. This is where it all happens. This is where all of the Twit shows are produced, including this one. We do this one at 2 p.m. Pacific time every Friday. Join us. But that's cool. Rolling. What up? Um, so this is the, it's the captain's chair. Martin doesn't like when I say that, but this is where the magic happens. We've got a mixer, um, our switcher, a few computers, recording audio, um, some stuff down here that's, I don't know, geeky, fantastic. And um, our TriCaster, which is sort of where we're running everything through. It's very high tech. Um, you don't think that TWIF is a real high-tech kind of a show? We joke about that because of how high-tech it actually is. Sarah, you look great. Thanks, nice Marty. Nice top. No, I didn't say that square break thing. Oh. Nice top, Matt. I think you look um, great. I appreciate that. That's really nice of you guys. Let's check our cameras. Martin, try not to look like such a child molester. Gosh, sorry. I am I'm off. We should not have had those four margaritas at lunch. This is This Week in Fun with Sarah Lane and Martin Sargent. Episode 34 for September 12, 2009. Lightning Round Preview. Sarah Lane and I'd like to welcome you all to this 
Week in Fun, episode 34, but it's not just me no, here. No, it's 35, I think. No, it's 34. 35. It's 34. Everyone in the chat room says 34. Oh, they it's would 34. know. 34. It's 34. So Twiff is not yet old enough to be elected president. Oh. Um, uh, yeah, you this, know, they're dusty fans. This, this show is a little bit different than the other shows on the Twit Network. So. Right. But, you know, but the how other is it shows, different, though? The other shows that Leo, so... Leo hosts are about, you know, defragging partitioning, updating the kernel processing. No, we, we don't. We leave the daisy chain into those guys. <laughs> <laughs> True or poo, hey Sarah Lynn, it's up to you. True or poo, what is Marty gonna do? He's asking you if it's true or is if it's really poo. Yeah, poo. yeah, yeah. All right, here's your first story. All right. A Chinese hairdresser has just completed erecting what some are calling the Chinese haircutting equivalent of the Great Wall of China. A massive to scale replica of Tiananmen Square made out of human hair. Barber Huang Zin says it took him five months of sweeping hair off the floor before he had the 11 kilograms required to build just the gate tower. True or poo? There are little triggers. Western Journalists have dubbed it, celebrated the celebration. Some of that stuff is, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's sloppy journalism is what it is, and it's either written by you or you're reading a really bad article. But my gut says it's poo. It's you poo. are incorrect. Mother affer. <laughs> and today, we're going to do it a little different. We're going to play Tweet Beat Lightning Round. All right, so here is your first challenge All right. in Tweet Officer Beat Box. Lightning Round. Oh. <laughs> lightning Round. <laughs> lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt. Gold rises or full of surprises? Gold rises or full of surprises. Gold rises or full of surprises. Gold rises. Lightning. <laughs> you are incorrect! No! Uh, this is great. So, uh, Ohio police say a suspect in a robbery was arrested when he returned uh, to the home that he robbed about two hours later to ask the woman that he robbed out on a date. Oh, that is so sweet. Isn't that cute? This is like a... So, like, what did he take from her, I this wonder? This is like a movie starring Tom Hanks. I mean, it's, it's, it's wonderful. The bishop. Is that the thing? Yeah, like, you know, the p picture of Bishop's hat. Uh-huh. Yeah. But if you, what if you don't have the snip snip? Then you don't have a Bishop hat. Then you're just kind of a snake. Then you don't have a turtleneck sweater. Then you are the... I don't know. I can't think of another chess piece that really fits. A pawn. The... the... the spunk monk? What? <laughs> Worst show ever. <laughs> Worst twiff ever. And, uh, and uh, that'll be a... Uh, it'll be a... <laughs> <laughs> you gonna ruin this anymore? <laughs> I'm all... I'm all confuddled. Discombobulated. Uh, I don't know what that was. It was like I wanted to give a speech. <laughs> you had a mini stroke. <laughs> I was trying to do something, <laughs> so, something so between big. Bob Barker, Spade No to Your Pets, and Jerry Springer, Take Care of Yourself and Each Other, and I got nothing in Don't between. get ripped by the riptide. Freaking, what are we calling this piece of garbage? <laughs> so. Uh, oh, God. F. Rapin D. A. What? F. Rapin D. A. <laughs> Money for free. Money for Half rape in the A. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Boom. Boom. Well, everyone, thanks a lot for watching uh, this little documentary. It's how the magic gets made. Our show. It's really high tech. It's really something. Yeah. And I'll tell you what it is. It's a lot of fun. It's fun. This week